So today is run the motor day. Run the motor day on what? On the on the the uh, A3. Oh, the Focke Wolf. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey everybody. Hey. Some of you guys might actually know this character. <laughs> Frank, say hi to all your fans. Hey, your fans out there. All right. Enough all right. of him. Enough so. Of him. Uh, when last we left, I had poured this thing up about 11 o'clock last night, and so it's been about 12 hours, 12.47 hours, and I'm going to try and get this thing out of that mold. So let's see what happens. So, you know, if we're all lucky, I'm just going to tap on it and it just falls out. I guess we're not lucky. Yep. Alright, so... I must not have been living where I went yesterday. Let's see... I need a scraper. I'm going to try and do this gently because I don't really want to do any damage to the actual mold itself in case I dicked up this particular uh, plug. I need the mold uh, in order to make another one. Hopefully I don't, but you never know. Air. No, oh, that's positive. I got I can see a little bit of a gap down the side of the melamine or the MDF. One of the nice things about having these MDF caps on here is if I have to, I can bang these off with a hammer without actually damaging the, uh, the actual mold. Hopefully I won't have to do that. Because that will be a waste of um, at least a half an ounce of perfectly good hot glue. Okay, I just, I don't know, I'm impatient. So we'll do this in a slightly more violent manner. Stay. Good boy. <laughs> I would have guess you would have known that. <laughs> I like the owl. Ow. Broke my mold. Hmm. Okay. That's a 32 ounce ball peen precision alignment tool. <laughs> I don't think I'll use that. Maybe we'll just use the little rubber mallet.
see, that's just that was perfectly good hot glue two minutes ago. Oh. Alright, I'll need that. Air. Oh, here we go. There it is. When all else fi when all else fails, remember violence is always an option. Brute force and ignorance. Yeah, brute force and ignorance. Also keep in mind that failure is also always an option. Okay. My mold looks to be undamaged. That looks perfect. Good. All right. So here's the plug, the master, the thing that I've been working to achieve for the last what? Two weeks? Two weeks. Two, two weeks. Two weeks. Jesus. We don't want to tell them why. Do we? <laughs> <laughs> two, weeks. two weeks. Why? Because the Zeroli canopy wasn't good enough for me, even though it's been good enough for everybody, I don't know, else. everybody else all through the for the last what thirty years? Thirty years, yeah. Jesus. And you found the error. Yeah. Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Stupidity has a face. Okay. Well, there you go, ladies and germs. That is a successful mold. Um, foam center, concrete outside. With this, um, what I'll do is I'll just I'll rub on this um, with some TLC and uh, probably some 600 just to get it as smooth as I possibly can and then um, this will go out in the uh, in a UPS box today tomorrow at the latest and off to the vacuum forming house um, over at Chad Veach and uh, hopefully I'll have I'll have some new canopies to play with sometime next week. All right, thanks for watching. Later. Okay, well, <clears throat> a few hours have passed and what you're looking at is serial no is plug serial number 2. Why? Well, the one you just saw me remove from the mold, I have since um I sanded on it a little bit with some 400 and then I shot a little primer on it just to make sure that what I was seeing was real and it was it's just I'm not I am not sold here's the here's the plug and can I fix that yeah sure um, and I probably will uh, at least I'll start fixing it I don't care about that corner but you can see all these kind of I don't know I think of them as folds but they are definite imperfections here's the other side These are definite imperfections that I'm, I can't live with. Nobody should. Um, so, who knows? Maybe my uh, maybe my liquid UltraCal was a l little less liquid than it should have been because of uh, <laughs> <laughs> because all the Keystone Cops nonsense that was going on in here last night. So, uh, I mixed up one big batch today. I made a new foam filler and <clears throat> one big batch UltraCal. I made it even more liquid. Uh, it's um, I mixed it just a little bit more liquidy than the mixing instructions call for. And it poured in here like... I don't know, like thick milk, and uh, a lot more, uh, a lot lower viscosity than what I used last night. So, um, 
on the off chance that my problem is ultra cal and I'm never going to get happy with an ultra cal mold on the off chance that that's the case uh, I can always I can always you know sand and fill and sand and fill and turn that plug into uh, a perfectly good plug um, I'm just hoping that I don't have to put that much effort into it after having already put so much effort into this whole process so um, we'll see what happens tomorrow I'm gonna let I'm gonna let this one I'm gonna let that cook until tomorrow morning which will give it a good uh, I don't know 12 8 20 hours I suppose anyway until then later